Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. I am Darren Cabral, I'm the CEO of Suit Social. We're a digital marketing agency that helps small businesses build their brand, generate more leads, and make more money through online advertising, through social media. Today, we're talking about how you can make more money in the next five years than you have in your entire life. This is a super unique opportunity that is probably literally a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, you're most likely not gonna see this again. And the reason behind that is it's tied to a potential coming recession. And the last time we've had a, a real opportunity like this was probably after World War II, if not the Great Depression before that. And so this is something that really you're either gonna hit it or you're gonna miss it. And so what I'm talking about is this, through the times we're going in right now with the recession possibly coming up, with rising inflation, with massive closures among businesses and bankruptcies, there's a lot of opportunity. It's easy to see the doom and gloom of it all. And of course, as tragic as it is, there are people losing, there are people getting hurt, but there are people that are preparing for this. There've been people that have been preparing for years. And those people are gonna see so much growth because what's happening right now now, if we make a very kind of simple illustration of this is if you ever followed the stock market and everyone always says, you know, buy at the bottom, like obviously, right? But it's hard to see where the bottom is. But if you look at a stock chart, when something's right at the bottom, what happens when you start buying at that bottom point and that stock comes back to where it is? Your money's doubling, tripling, quadrupling. The same thing happens in business, okay? So when you own a business and you're going into a recessionary period, there's a few things going on that you can take advantage of. One of them is you see a lot of issues with employment. You see very high unemployment because as businesses close, people get laid off. What does this mean firstly? It means people, which I call talent, become available that otherwise wouldn't have been. You have great people with great experience that start to need work more desperately than they did before. There's not enough companies hiring, there's too many layoffs. It's a really good time for you to start building your team, investing in key players, investing in experience, right? Investing in people that are gonna build your culture and your company that you otherwise would have struggled to find or would have had to pay a lot more to get and maybe you couldn't afford at the time, but now you can because of what's going on. So the first thing that happens in a recession that dips is your ability to basically get better people, lower costs, cost more consistently. That helps you build a team much faster, which helps you grow your company. The other thing that happens during a recession is advertising. Because a lot of the big players pull out and all these platforms like Facebook ads and Google ads and everything, even right down to radio and billboard, they become cheaper because there's less demand on the product and their product is the ad space. And so it's an opportunity to put more money into advertising and grab market share when everybody else is giving theirs up. A third reason you could take a huge advantage out of a recession and really blow up your income is if you're in a product-based company, some service-based companies too is applicable for, but inventory, product gets cheaper. It becomes easier to get your hands on things. I mean, minus supply chain issues, but if those are stored in a general recession, there's a surplus of things to buy. A good friend of mine owns a huge retail chain and where large conglomerates, um, let's just say like the home senses of the world are falling through, these guys are scooping up massive orders at a discount because the giants are pulling away in fear. Stuff they couldn't find even six months ago. And so they're doubling their inventory supplies in just weeks that would have otherwise taken them years. And so that's a huge opportunity. So when you combine a few of those things, like getting more people quicker and being able to build a team a lot faster than you otherwise would, getting more advertising out, more reach, more brand building activity happening for a lot cheaper, and then getting more inventory, more product, more things to sell. All these things start to really stack in your favor. One of the biggest is just your competitors are bowing out. And so there's a lot less people competing in general for your customers. It's your chance to really stand out, to really get in front of them, to really make a difference, to really find a way to solve the problems that are going on around you when nobody else is. And that's one of the biggest benefits of going through a recession as a business is you don't have as much competition and that's an absolute game changer. And now if you do all those things right and you build a fantastic team, right? You run an amazing advertising, you nail it down, you're getting leads coming in, your sales team's dealing with them, you're selling, you have inventory set up, you have more product, maybe you're buying more, and that's a whole other thing we can talk about real estate, but maybe you're buying more office space or warehouse space, you're building your physical presence because it's cheaper to do so as well. You do all that in a recession, as things start to tick back up, you still hold that position. Now you have more people than your competitors. You have more product. You have better advertising than everybody else as the market's coming up and people are spending money and suddenly the exponential gains start to just rack up. So all that stuff you did in the down period, now you are positioned to grow faster in the rising tide where everyone else is still kind of sinking around the bottom because during the down period, they let everything go. They weren't advertising, they weren't hiring, they weren't building. Now as people have money to spend, they're in no position to capture that. 
they're left behind. You're ready. And you're capturing all of that growth at a very like disproportionate way um, where your competitors are just not. And so you're growing in a few years what you would have in 20, 30, 40 years. And the last piece of that, which I just kind of touched on, real estate. Like buying real estate in a downturn is huge because you're seeing already commercial real estate, residential for sure, commercially you're starting to see just cool right off. So if you're in a position in your business to buy your office space instead of lease it, or buy a warehouse, or buy even something, maybe your business works remote now, that's fine. Buy commercial space and lease it out if you can, right? Because that's something that when that goes down, we know eventually it's gonna come back up. There's only so much land on earth, right? We can never make more land. And so whatever's built is built. We're not gonna get more of it. And so it's always gonna go up somewhere. As long as whoever you put in there is paying you and you're getting your rent and you're getting that payment every month and it's cash flowing and it's positive, you can hold it for five, six, seven, eight years while the economy rebounds and you're gonna buy something that could triple, quadruple or 5X over that period. So put all these things together as a business and there's gonna be a ton of opportunity for you in a recession to grow more in the next five years than you have in your entire life. And you're gonna see that. Big companies are made in recessions. Just look back to the last recession, to the last Great Depression. A lot of the biggest companies we have today made their start in that space. It's like breathing room. Think of someone's parting the seas and giving you the opportunity to come right through the middle um, and make your mark. So whether you capitalize on that or not is gonna be up to you. Hopefully that was helpful. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like down below, drop a comment, subscribe, turn notifications, all the fun stuff to make sure you see these videos that we put a ton of work into and we hope you enjoy. Other than that, I'll see you in the next episode.